All right, good morning, guys. Uh, so Maddie usually starts her morning off with a uh, stretch. So, yeah, that's very important. She always starts off with a stretch. No, every single day. Isn't that right, Maddie? Isn't that right? And a scratch. Can't forget the scratch. Scratch is very important. Alright, usually while I eat breakfast, Maddie goes out and uh, does her business outside as she sprints out there. Um, but yeah, she goes, usually goes and does her business outside and then she typically goes and says good morning to everyone. So she'll like go and jump on my dad or go say hi to my mom, but it's, it's really funny. Um, so I think we're gonna go for a walk in a, in a few minutes once I'm done eating breakfast and then uh, yeah. She also does play with Sadie too. That is also something she likes to do in the morning. Daddy, you wanna go on a walk? We go to walk? See? <laughs> okay, okay, chill. Yeah. Let's go. Hi man, you ready for the walk? You looking all vested up and I run this collar with her little name tag that has my number on it so I can't show it. But um, I also run this because I, I like putting the leash on here way better than putting it on the collar. Oh. Alright, let's go. All right guys, while we're out on a walk, I wanna tell you guys about a story about Maddie's name. So her name has a really funny story behind it. All right, so um, in the sixth grade, I knew this girl, she was really cute. Her name was Maddie, and she spelt it in like a weird way. It was like M-A-D-D-Y. And um, so two years later, I'm in St. John's, and I remember her in the name. And so uh, I decided to use that for Maddie. So, is that right, Maddie? You're named after a cute girl in the sixth grade. So, yeah, that's just the way I ended up. Funny story, but uh, yeah, let's get back to the walk. All right, we are home. Now she's gonna instantly run to the water bowl and drink. All right, so we walked like about, uh, I think it was two miles. Yeah, so we walked two miles and uh, yeah, it was fun. All right, now she's staring at her treat bucket. You have a treat? You have a treat? Okay, sit. Shake. Nope, shake this one. Good. Okay, so I typically let her grab her own treat. I don't know, I think it's pretty funny. She just grabs the one she wants and then she goes, and then she'll eat it. Good girl. Good girl. So we're gonna go over to the pet store because Maddie keeps losing all of her tennis balls and we're gonna get her some more. Um, so she always like gets tennis balls, has them for like three days and then uh, they're all suddenly gone. I don't, I don't know what it is, but uh, she keeps losing all of them, so we're gonna go get her some more. More to lose, you know? <laughs> no, but uh, her favorite toy is a tennis ball. She just absolutely loves them, so let's go get her some.
Okay, we secured the package. So, uh, yeah, let's go home. All right, guys, so the best thing to do is to put it in the trunk, although I don't need to, and then I'll go get Maddie, and she gets so excited to come out here and get her new toy. It's, oh, you guys will see. Here's your toy? Come here. Come here. I'm so excited. She already knows where to go. Then, toy? Here. Here. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh, you want me to throw it? Here. <laughs> now she picks it up and goes inside. She's too fast. She's too fast. Good girl. Let me open one up for you. Let's go. All right, so I got the ball thrower, or I don't know what to call it, the ball launcher. So you just pull it back, and then my favorite thing to do is just, and she runs, picks it up, and comes back. For me to re-pick it up. Sadie, <laughs> Sadie has it. <laughs> and then she takes it from Sadie. But this is like my favorite thing to do with her is just launch the ball and she has to go get it and bring it back. It's it's fun. She she loves it. Drop it. Teddy. <laughs> oh, you got it. There you go. It's harder with the camera. I can't. There you go. She had opened the drawer to the other balls because she saw where I put them. I have to put them on like high up in my closet to get her not to take them. She opened the whole drawer. It was really good. It was really talented. All right, so Maddie, when she was playing, she did hurt her foot. So I'm taking her to the vet. I get her new balls and then Five minutes later, she hurts herself, and then I, we're back to the vet. She literally would jump off a cliff to go after a ball. It's crazy. Oh, look at her. Oh. You're crazy. So, yeah, we have a vet appointment now. Okay, it is now a day later, and um, it was a big fail. So, um, I got her the ball, and then we are throwing it around. She broke one of her nails really bad. Um, and so she had to go to the vet and it's her nails aren't long i get them cut every like two weeks roughly so she doesn't have very long nails right now so it was confusing but she was running in the rocks and she hurt one of her toenails so um they i had to take her to the vet they had to like um sedate her and uh, she had to go to sleep and then they had to cut the rest of the nail off because it was pretty bad and now she got her foot in a little cast now. So I tried to do a day in the life of, but it didn't work out very well, did it, Maddie? Um, but I know I'm gonna get a couple of comments about like her eating and drinking habits. Um, so I open feed her, so she she like just 
eats when she needs to eat. She's very good at uh, portioning herself. She doesn't overeat or anything. And if I see her start to gain weight, I will uh, switch her over to like not open feeding. But um, yeah, so I typically open feed her. And yeah, so um, she's doing okay though. She'll be fine. She'll, it'll be healed in a couple days. Um, but she'll, yeah, so she'll get better. But uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry it was a fail. I'll have to do one where it's actually um, a day in the life of because I plan to go to the park and I, I had some plans, but uh, she had decided to hurt herself uh, by running around. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.